Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung, and welcome to your friendly proctologist. Thank you so much for joining this discussion. <laughs> uh, I hope wherever you are, you're dealing well, and if any, if any chance you feel at any moment that you are alone in your suffering, just look at the comment section. You're going to see that there's so many people in the same position. Same as me. I'm in the same position as you are. And that's what the reason, or that's why this channel was developed. So the topic we want to talk about today is <clears throat> how do we deal with the sentinel pile after a fissure is healed? Are there any over-the-counter remedies or what do you suggest, Dr. Chung? And before we get there, please check the description for video consultation information, Pranicura, which we'll talk a little bit more about today as well, and other products that are helpful for you that you can see. I truly appreciate your support for the channel, but let's get on with the question. <clears throat> so the Sentinel pile, uh, well, well, let me put it this way. I believe the person that asked this question meant it as, you know, once the fissure is healed, what do we do about the little extra piece of skin? You know, that's not as bad as before, but still I feel that the fissure story is not over. What can I do to help it? And <clears throat> that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to assume that the fissure is pretty much healed or is really not painful. It's just that skin on the outside, that little rubbery tail, extra piece of skin, that's the problem here, okay? So number one is the skin tag is inflamed and that's because of the fissure. If the fissure wasn't there, the sentinel pile would not exist. So healing the fissure is always number one because if it's still there, the sentinel pile doesn't have a reason to go away. And the point of that is, is that don't be discouraged if your fissure is having a tough time but be encouraged that once the fissure problem goes away, now this fissure, or excuse me, the skin tag, the sentinel pile, can be addressed immediately after. So the one, one number one is keep your habits going to heal that fissure because it's also going to help with this, the sentinel pile. The second thing I would say is if you saw your doctor and you have some steroid cream, that's going to be helpful because steroid cream, steroids in general, decrease inflammation and that's why he's hard and rubbery and getting in the way and causing pain. So if you can cause that inflammation to go down, then you may have some good results. And I always suggest people take this or use a steroid cream about three times a day. Definitely put it on right before bed so you can get the effect. The medication will be working all night. All right, what else can you use? Well, any other over-the-counter creams? Well, yeah, things like Pranicura, things like Preparation H, Desitin, or um, Calmoceptin can be very helpful. Things like Pranicura can be useful because they've got the menthol action in there. And these creams, the heavier ones being the barrier creams, they are great because they can provide a long lasting lubrication there, right? You don't need a lot, just a small dot, just on the outside of your anus. You don't need all your butt cheeks just smeared with cream, but just a little bit of amount there can cause some cooling effect, possibly numb it up a little bit for you. And the other thing it provides, like I said, it doesn't just wash away with maybe five minutes of walking. It still will hang around there so it doesn't irritate you as much. What's well, another strategy? Another strategy is to try not to touch it, okay? The reason being is that the more you wipe, the more you like scratch at it, that guy is already inflamed and pissed off. So there's, you don't wanna give it more of a reason to complain, right? And the more you mess with it, the more it's going to stay swollen and not really get that chance to calm down. Because I'm sure, I'm hoping that this guy doesn't irritate you all day long, but especially after a problem with me, I feel like for a half hour, an hour or so, like, oh, that guy is just 
really, really in the way. I can't really move very well. I can't sit very well. The other thing that I would say is more of, you know, getting help from a professional like myself is getting it removed. Okay. And so I do this for my patients all the time after hearing their story, you know, their fissures are done healing, they're doing great, or their fissures are on the way to healing. But the skin tag, the skin tag, the sentinel pile is really making their lives miserable. And so I will actually cut this thing off. And many patients actually will get great relief from doing that. And many doctors will poo-poo it, okay? I used to do it. I'm guilty of it, okay? They're like, what's that little piece of skin really going to do for you? Is that? I mean, I don't believe that's going to be the answer to your problems. But I'll tell you, listening to patients and doing that physical exam and seeing what it causes, what problems it cause, yeah, it helps people. It's definitely not hocus pocus. And so the warning I want to tell you about is that <clears throat> the sentinel pile is right where the fissure is. So by cutting it off and creating a wound there, you're essentially recreating or creating a fissure. So keeping your habits up, using the cream even after that procedure is done, can be super helpful and then once it heals because you've got your habits really nailed down you know you're not trying to heal another cut for another five months because what can happen if it t takes too long is that you get another skin tag to show up why because an inflammation chronic inflammation and a cut in that area can cause these sentinel piles so you just want to make sure that we get all our ducks in a row and get these things straightened out so that when we try and make, you know, make ourselves better with these procedures, we can outweigh those risks and come out the other side a new and changed and happier person. Well, I hope this question, or excuse me, I hope this video answers the question and I hope you got something out of it. I'm trying to make these videos shorter. I can't help but keep blabbing on, you know? And so I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.